everything's on track, but some things were more complex than expected. Another month, another update for the minimal phone. So if this is the first video you're seeing in this series that I've created regarding the minimal phone, I'll link the playlist above so that way you can catch up on this interesting project. Now, long story short, the minimal phone is an e-ink QWERTY device. It's the perfect device for those of us who want to reduce our screen time or reduce our eye strain. And a lot of people have backed this project and are really curious on when exactly it will be released and what it will be looking like. The phone has gone through design changes and a lot of updates. And this month is a little bit interesting. So on July 19th, the Minimal Phone Company posted an update to the backers. Within this update, you'll see in the first line that the project is on schedule. I found this point interesting because if you read further along, some things might indicate that it is not on schedule, but on schedule at the same time, there's a question mark here. Within that, you'll see the line after that they're explaining that their teams are going to China to finalize some of the phone features, such as the molding process, the phone colors and textures, etc. Above this, you'll be able to see the exact components that will be composing the phone, I'm guessing. This is really interesting and great that they posted this image, so that way the backers can get an idea of how the phone will be put together. Now, they're also in the process of debugging the printed circuit board assembly. Now, essentially, this will need to be completed before moving on, of course, into the production period, but it seems that this is on schedule and will be completed this week, according to the update. The next part of the update I found the most interesting. This is where they get a bit more transparent about the project itself. Now, they state that there are some challenges with integrating the chipset, which is MTK, with the display itself. Now, this is an e-ink display device and they are having more complex issues than anticipated for this particular integration. They said that they are close to making headway and hopefully will resolve the issue soon, but this has caused delays. The delay in particular is the engineering sample. This sample will be needed in order to debug further the device and ready it completely for production. It also delays the preview of the videos that I'm sure that we've been anticipating. Even though the situation is close to a resolution, the manufacturers have assured the team that they are on schedule for production. So I find this is a bit of a conflict. Um, they have delays in order to integrate the chipset with the display, but they're still on schedule at the same time. Um, I'm guessing this has pushed things a around a month because I think they were anticipating to have the engineering sample ready in July, and it looks like it'll be ready mid-August. Will this push the production for the phone for everybody else? Potentially, but they are assuring this is for quality reasons, and they want to put out a device that has gone through all of the quality checks, and it looks like they really want to verify the quality before going into a mass production for the backers of this device. I really like that this post gives more insight on the device itself by showing the scheme for the components and the molding process, as well as being honest about the integration of the chipset with the display. This is a good step forward, I think, for the minimal phone company for being more transparent. And hopefully the backers will see this as a positive as well, even know that they have some challenges that may delay production. What do you think about this update, especially for those of you backing the project? I know I have a few of you following. And what about those of you who are still on the fence about potentially backing this device? Would you back this device or are you still holding off and waiting to see how the device rolls out? I myself am still anticipating the demo of this device and I'm sad that it's not right now but I'm glad that they're taking it seriously and really following through with the quality of the device. And I am looking forward to seeing the demo of the device potentially in August, I'm assuming. And uh, I will keep you updated if I see any other updates. Thank you so much for watching and following this interesting project and see you soon.